Hello residents of and visitors to Satellite Beach. I'm Bob from the Satellite Beach Live YouTube channel. And this video is another in our series of videos on the people that make the Satellite Beach Farmer's Market a really special place for residents of the Space Coast. Today we'll meet Kevin who with his wife owns Jerk on Jerkies which offers an amazingly diverse selection of beef, turkey, bacon and other kinds of jerkies. Let's let Kevin tell his story. We're here with Kevin at uh, Jerk on Jerkies and he's going to tell us a little bit about his presence here at the Satellite Beach Farmers Market. How'd you get into this business, Kevin? The jerky business, this started from a family friend uh, who got my wife doing this as a hobby. Uh, so it started it with was your wife, it wasn't you. Correct, who yeah, I had no real part in this other than helping her uh, slice the meat and whatnot. She basically did everything else. Uh, it was, again, as a hobby to friends and family where it kind of grew and These demand, the were good, right, right, wanted more of good. it, and it grew to the point where she uh, couldn't do it by herself. Uh, and I had to jump in more to help her out. Was she actually doing the cooking at the beginning? Oh yeah, she, she did everything. I, okay. the, other, the only thing that she wasn't doing was the, the slicing of the meat. Every other part okay. she did. And like I said, I, I had my, my full-time job and uh, she, uh, she was doing this as a, as a hobby. And like I say, it grew and grew until I ended up uh, we discussed it and we said we're gonna go full-time so I, I made the leap I quit my uh, my job and we went full-time into being jerks that is a, a big decision to make I mean, somebody is willing it was very scary at first we didn't know what would happen yeah like so good. the good I'm Lord really has been good to us and we have uh, you know you know, cross our fingers here, knock on wood, we haven't had to look back, so. Yeah, that's awesome. This is pretty cool, I mean, because a lot of people really like jerky. I mean, it's kind of a, almost like a cult bomber for so many people that really enjoy it. Well, see, we, my wife and I, we don't like what jerky has become in the store. If you look at the ingredients in a bag of jerky at the store, it's got a lot of stuff in there that you don't want, or that's not good for you. It's loaded with salts, sugars, curing agents, so it's got a lot of stuff that ain't good for you. So we, Plus, a lot of it is hard, right? It's like ripping and tearing on a piece of leather. And uh, my wife uh, had an accident years ago where she broke her jaw, and it's harder for her to chew on things. So she needs uh, something that is a little more tender that she can enjoy. So we set out and we made this. This is hand sliced, made fresh each week. We don't add any additional salts, sugars, curing agents, preservatives, obviously flavor depending, but uh, we make it fresh each week so it's tender and it's easy for you to enjoy. And it really sets us apart from a lot of the other jerky uh, manufacturers that are out there. Well, not only that, but you've got a huge number of flavors here. We do have a, uh, a little bit of a selection. My wife and I go back and forth on, do we have too many? Uh, should we downsize? Because it does take a lot of time to create such a diverse uh, uh, following of flavors. Not only on just beef, but we do it in other meats as well. So we'll have different flavors in our bacon jerky or in the turkey jerky you know or any of the other meats that we make it into so there's a lot of work goes into it. and these flavors that uh that we make here are all in a way unique to us because my wife she's the flavorist she thinks of all these flavors and then we do trial and error add a little this take a little of that until Everything is taste, tested, taste tested to perfection. This is great. So you actually, I mean, each one of these flavors had a whole testing process. Oh yeah, it. yeah. There, there was nothing like, oh, we went online and found this flavor and said, oh, this flavor looks great. Let's copy that and make this. No, these flavors are almost 100% thought up out of her head. Well, I may have contributed to one, maybe two, but pretty much all of them are from her. There are some flavors that we take ideas from, from other things that are out there, but nothing is a straight copy. Everything that she wants to have, or that we would like to sell, we want it to be our own. So awesome. she will take a recipe and then she will rework it and make it our own recipe, where it is similar but not the same. 
So they are unique to us. So you must have a heck of a set of smokers at home. I assume you gotta do these. You can't smoke one with others, or can you put them all in the same? No. Well. I don't use a smoker. There's many different ways to make jerky. Our, our particular method, we use a large commercial oven uh, to make our product. So, which is really nice because I'm able to control the, the temperature as well as the humidity to a very finite point, And that allows me to make such a tender product. I mean, every, every when, we, when we first started off with this business, we didn't realize just what was all involved to go into a full-time business you know for the licensing and all the regulations and everything the hoops that we had to to jump through um there was a lot of things i was unaware of I was like, hey you just take the meat you dehydrate it you know with flavorings and there you go you got jerky and i was very wrong so every every batch has to be dried to a certain water activity level then every batch you know we have to test uh, with a water activity meter to make sure it meets that uh, to prohibit the growth of bacteria inside of the bag you know and again we don't use the curing agents or the preservatives which uh, is one of the things that we like because it's a fresh product this won't be around forever like a mcdonald's fry all right they're inside of their vacuum sealed packaging once you open it and reintroduce oxygen to the bag that's when the timer starts before you know it's going to go bad it needs to be refrigerated after opening you know we go through a lethality process basically fully cooking the meat to kill the bacteria and then it goes through its drying process to dry it down so that again that water to be level that we need it to be at. That's a pretty good selling point, the fact that you have made a whole product line that doesn't require the preservatives that you get if you're going to go buy this at a grocery store or something. Exactly. And a lot of people uh, who are on the keto diet, you know, they like to come to us again because we don't add the, the sugars, you know, we don't add the, the salts. Uh, a lot of our bags uh, will have the little symbol on them for being gluten-free. So a lot of people have gluten allergies, you know, they, they can't just buy uh, you know, jerky that's in the store. They have to look for gluten-free jerky. That's most of our, our product here. I may have one or two flavors that uh, contain gluten, but almost all of them are gluten-free. That's a good selling point as well. Sure. Lots of people look for gluten-free food. Well, it's uh, it's pretty amazing what you've done. You've come up with a, a heck of a, a diverse set of flavors here, and it sounds like you've got... We try to have choices. I try to cover the bases. Everybody is different. We offer samples of every one of our flavors. I'm a firm believer in try before you buy, so I want you to be happy with my product. If you are unhappy with my product, you know, I will go above and beyond to make you happy with my product, whether it's a refund or an exchange or whatever it is we have. Thankfully, we don't really have that issue because we haven't had any issues with our product. Can't argue with that. I've had your teriyaki. It was pretty darn good. Thank you. And again, our teriyaki is a dry rub, so it's not as sweet as normal teriyaki. So a lot of people say, oh, teriyaki is too sweet. Well, again, we use a dry rub lid, so it's not as sweet. They are garlic parmesan ranch, which is our number one seller. It's made with fresh minced garlic, which sets it apart from being used with powders. This is a fantastic flavor. And not only can you just buy a bag of jerky, open it up and eat as a snack, you can get creative with it. For example, the garlic parmesan ranch makes an excellent addition if you cut it up to put it in salads, put it on some pizza topping, mix it in on top of a loaded baked potato, put it in baked beans. I had an elderly couple who cut it up and put it on top of a loaded uh, uh, nachos and cheese mix that they made. Oh, you can do all kinds of things with it. The Green Goblin, which is a limited time flavor, which is a fresh blend of cracked black pepper, uh, uh, jalapenos, and banana peppers. It's kind of like a salsa verde. It goes really good cut up inside of a guac or queso mix. So you can do all, in our bacon jerky, you can do all kinds of stuff with it as well. So there's more things you can do with this product than just open it as a snack while you're sitting on the couch. You can be creative with it. That's great. I can see you have had a lot of experience with it. Oh, I've done a lot of experimenting. Again, I like to I like to hear feedback from my customers on things that they do so I can tell other people to try or things that I have done personally at my house. For example, making scrambled eggs with my garlic bacon is phenomenal. Or making a BLT sandwich with garlic bacon. Take the boring bacon off, you put or leave it on there and just add this to it. Fantastic. That is a great idea. So if people wanted to get a hold of you, you know, I mean, obviously they can come to the farmer's market every Thursday at 10 o'clock, but how can they get a hold of you? There are several options to get in contact with us, depending on what's best for you. We have our location at the Renegers Flea Market, uh, you know, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, booth 88. Uh, again, we're on the north end of the market. 
You can go to Facebook, Jerk on Jerkies. You can go to Instagram, Jerk on Jerkies. You can go to jerkonjerkies.com. Or you can call me. My phone call text, my phone number, my personal number is directly on my card here at the bottom. It is also on every one of my bags at the bottom. So you can call or text me. Again, if you have an issue, if you have feedback, if you just want to say, hey, it was great, I'd love to hear from you. Okay. Awesome. Really uh, interesting story here. You know, you can see all, all of the things that had to come together to, to make it possible that you can have this uh, really cool offering here at the uh, Satellite Beach Farmers Market. Very nice. We greatly appreciate the opportunity that John has given us to come and be a part of it. So this is a, a, a ma and pop, you know, little small, very small operation where it's just me and her, and this is what we do. You're doing a heck of a job. Thank you. When you come to the Satellite Beach Farmer's Market, Jerk on Jerkies is a booth that you'll want to visit if you are at all a fan of jerky. Kevin offers free samples, so you really can't go wrong. If you'd like to learn more about some of the other vendors at the Satellite Beach Farmer's Market, check out the links in the description below or just visit the Satellite Beach Live YouTube channel. Until next time.